Hey, 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 Capricorn, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your weekend reading for February 5th to the 7th, or for whenever you see this video, it's when you're supposed to see it. So this is for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully you guys can get something out of it today please don't forget to like share and subscribe right down below there capricorn if you would before you leave i do appreciate it and thank you so much for all of your like shares and subscriptions if you guys are interested in a personal reading that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs information can be found in the description box below don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, I'm going to get a channeled message for you Capricorns in just one moment. But first, there's tarot. Your energy Capricorn is the chariot. <clears throat> What's on your mind Capricorn? Ooh, it's sexy time is on your mind with the King of Wands. What's coming towards Capricorn here? The Nine of Swords. And what do you think about this? The Three of Cups. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. All right. So let's see what's up, Capricorn. See what Spirit has for you. Play more often, Capricorn. Play is important to incorporate within your day. Play with ideas. Play with structure. Anything that is regimented, we wish for you to play with. Have fun with your daily tasks. Have fun. Connect with that childlike wonder within you and let the world see it. Let others around you see it and feel it. This will ease your day. This will calm your spirit. Okay, thank you. Ooh, I like that energy, Capricorn. Have fun. Be a child again. A child within never leaves us. Truly, it never does. All right. So your energy, Capricorn, is the chariot. So you're looking forward to forward movement. I feel like you are being positive and really moving on towards your goals. And I also feel that you're letting go a little, I'm feeling within the chariot. You're letting go and allowing spirit to sort of take the wheel here giving up control in a sense. Tell me about the chariot. Tell me about this chariot. The Knight of Swords, that's your intuition. The Eight of Wands, ooh. Passion could be fueling you. Passion for somebody at a distance here with the chariot. Five of Pentacles, ooh. That's being ghosted, feeling left out in the cold. Clarify the Five of Pentacles. Death. Okay, this could have been a relationship that ended here with the death card. You could be seeking transformation. Yeah, Two of Pentacles. That's a twin flame card for me in this deck. But there's um, there may be a decision that needs to be made here. Or something that's trying to be balanced. If this is somebody from the past. If this is not somebody from the past and it's somebody new. It's definitely somebody at a distance that you've been speaking with. And 
And I feel like because of this distance, there's been a lack of sort of physical affection, right? And just a feeling of the lack of the physical presence I'm getting. <clears throat> and you're wanting to transform this, which is why you're getting closer to this person. You could be moving. So what is on your mind is the King of Wands. So I really feel like sexual thoughts pervade your mind. That's what I'm feeling with that. Ooh, sneaky, sneaky, huh? You trying to hide this? Seven of Swords. Hmm. The Knight of Cups. What you doing, Capricorn? <laughs> the Devil. Oh my gosh, the Devil and the Seven of Swords. Okay, for some of you, you could be surprising somebody. That's what I'm getting with the Seven of Swords and the Devil in a sneaky way. Clarify these two cards. Are you juggling two people? Six of Pentacles is juggling two. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. The Magician. Oh my gosh. You're being a little trickster. That's what I'm getting, Capricorn. I got to give you what I'm getting. This is your energy. What is this other person that you're going to see? Think about Capricorn. Let's see. Oops. Oh my gosh. We have the Emperor and the Empress coming out together. They see you as their divine counterpart. Definitely. Okay, so what is their reaction to you? Let's see. Oh, what a saga. Seven of Wands. They're going to be defensive. What else? The Queen of Pentacles. I just heard standing their ground. So they're pretty confident in their stance here with the Queen of Pentacles. That's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It is a Capricorn card. But their focus, I feel, is their stability. However, they do see you as a divine counterpart. Who is this other person you're seeing? Because there's more than one. The Hanged Man or the Hanged Woman. The Princess of Swords. Ooh, the Five of Swords. Okay. So we have Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like whoever this is has been waiting for you, but there's conflict here. What is the conflict? The Queen of Wands. Ooh, sexy time conflict. The Hierophants. Taurus energy, commitment. I feel like this person wants a commitment and maybe you haven't committed. I feel like also they're looking for that physical, physical touch here and you haven't been there. So I feel like they're mad, angry, jealous. So what's coming towards you is the nine of swords. So this is going to make you anxious, fearful. Why? King of Pentacles, Taurus energy again. Could be Virgo, Capricorn. The star. That's a wish. That's also healing. And the two of swords. This is like a stalemate. I feel like Capricorn, maybe you got to make a decision here between a couple of people. Because there is more than one person. Now, how you respond to this is the three of cups. This is a reunion. Six of Cups, yeah, from somebody from the past here, possibly from childhood. The Queen of Cups is uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Sun. So definitely a past life soulmate here. So there could be a water sign and an earth sign here. Wow. So what is Capricorn's decision? What are you going to do? Two of Cups. And the hermit. You're gonna you're gonna be doing the hermit. Four of Wands, twin flame energy. I feel like you will. Okay, you're walking away from one of them. Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy, and Temperance. So there's healing going on. I feel like a choice will be made 
Okay, stability is had here uh, with the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands. So what's your advice to Capricorn? Wow, you got some drama going on. <laughs> Seven of Cups. Ten of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune. Clarify Seven of Cups again. The High Priestess. I feel like letting go needs to happen here with the Ten of Wands. At the same time, I feel like work needs to put into needs to be put into a relationship. Uh, I'm hearing it's time with the Wheel of Fortune. That is destiny. That is fate. I'm hearing with this Capricorn, be careful of the secrets you keep. Clarify one more time with this. Yeah, Five of Cups and the Six of Wands. If you want victory in this situation, there's some sort of sadness that needs to be left behind here, okay? And the battle will be overcome, whether this is an internal battle. Well, it is internal. But I feel like destiny is stepping in here some way, somehow. Okay? So you will come together with somebody here with the Two of Cups. Now, who that's going to be, that's going to be up to you here. Okay? But there is happiness here. All right? With somebody from a past life, soulmate. All right. One more for advice. The lovers. Be careful about uh, that third energy coming in between lovers. Now let's get an advice card for you from the animal messages. What's your advice for Capricorn? We have the weasel, Capricorn. Be silent, pay attention. That's the high priestess. And simply observe with your eyes, ears, and physical feelings what is happening inside and all around you. That's that's why the Seven of Cups and the um, High Priestess. So if you're confused, Capricorn, try to be the observer of yourself and of those around you and really pay attention to what you're feeling in order to come to a clearer picture and decision. OK. All right. And call upon the weasel when you're meditating. The weasel will help. All right, I hope this resonated. I hope it made sense. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fantastic weekend, Cappies, and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.